Do you like cupcakes? Do you like picnics? Hello. Hello. I come bearing cupcakes. <laughs> you, guys. you have to tell me how I did on the flavours. So I, I got red velvet, chocolate. Do you like knowing exactly what to say when a guy is pulling away so that you can guarantee you have the best chance of pulling him back? The thing I wanted to talk to you about today was when people disappear. Well, in this video, we have all three. I ran a contest on Instagram where four women got the chance to sit and have a picnic with me and Jameson and talk about dating. It was a beautiful time. And in this conversation, a very specific thing came up that I thought would be useful to you. A little snippet, if you will. I gave a specific line of what a woman could say to a guy in the early stages that she really likes who seems to be pulling away. Check it out and stick around till the end because I'm gonna to talk to you about something that will take your skills in talking to men to another level. So this is the exact line that I wrote down that I think is perhaps one of my more eloquent moments. <laughs> I'm feeling some confusion from you, which is totally fine, but I'm gonna take some space because I don't wanna get closer to someone who's not sure what they want. What I like about this is your first line is, I'm, I'm feeling some confusion from your side. So you're not, trying to guess at what it is or why it is or any of that. You're not trying to be a mind reader. You're just stating the obvious that I'm sensing some confusion from your side or I'm feeling some confusion. So when you say I'm going to take some space, what I love about that is that it's all about you and your power. It's not about him. It's not about what should we do or like how do we want to talk about this or whatever. No, it's I'm going to, I've made the decision. I'm going to take some uh, space because I don't want to get closer to someone who's not sure what they want. Now there's two things going on there. Um, one is it's a compliment to him because what you're really saying is I like you and I know that if I keep getting closer to you it's gonna be painful for me on some level. But when you say I don't want to get closer to someone who doesn't know what they want it also is a subtle like dig at his current identity because you're also saying you're you're identifying him as someone who doesn't know what he wants. And there's a little sting in there. It's not, in, it's not like an intentional kind of, I'm trying to aggravate you, but it's a, there's a little sting in there of you telling him that's not the kind of guy that you actually want in your life. I'm just afraid that I've, I've done that in the last, my last dating situation. And I had been seeing this guy for about two months. Mm -hmm. And it, it, he did the weekend getaways where I thought it was a heavy investment. Yep. And out of nowhere, he just got in incredibly busy with work for yeah, two weeks. Yeah. But I gave him those two weeks of space where we hardly talked to each other at all, we didn't see each other. And then I did exactly that where I called him and I said, I care about you so much, but I can tell that you're incredibly preoccupied. Mm -hmm. You've got other things that you have to take care of right now. I get that. Let me know if you've got some free time in the future. I'd love to hang out again. And I felt like I ended it prematurely. Because he wrote back and he was understanding. He was like, thanks so much for being so cool. I am really busy. I enjoy my time with you, but this is done. And I was just like, dang you it. you did yourself I... a favor. Yeah. But you're worried. Just, See, I, I wondered if I, if I should have given him like another week. No, because your illusion, your illusion is that that text mm -hmm. would make a guy go, ah, oh, I was gonna try really hard next week, but now that, but now that she's ended it, I won't bother. And in your message, you even said, which I don't think you should have done, you even said, I'll let me know when you free up. Yeah. Right, because what you said is, whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Be here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what, what you're that's saying why is, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> but you did, I mean, I mean, you did the right thing in being strong and like saying something. Um, but uh, I think it's worth saying something. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, yeah. Because like I get cold, I'm just like, all right, I'm out. People, Thanks. people are not I'm used not to. Mean. I'm just like, I'm like, all right, that's yeah. cool. Okay. In in life, people are not used to being cold on their shit. Yeah. They're not used to it. They're used to getting away with murder and no one saying anything. Oh, weren't those women lovely? I want to say a huge thank you to Sarah, Danielle, Katie and Marissa. You guys were amazing. I loved our talk together and I appreciate you coming out to see me. I want everybody watching this video to notice something. 
I'm not a huge fan of prescribed advice. Although I give a lot of advice, the truth is over time, I want you to make it your own. But I also know that sometimes people change the language and the wording of something in a way that undermines its intention. What you'll notice between Sarah and I is that she and I had the exact same intention with what we were doing, but the language that she used actually weakened her position with the guy instead of strengthening it and showing how attractive she could be. I'm all about showing the best version of you. And if you feel like in your communication with men, you could be showing a much stronger, more attractive version of you, I have something that I want you to get today. It's called How to Talk to Men. It is my program that does nothing but tell you what you can say in every situation. You literally flip to a chapter that describes your situation right now, and it will give you the thing to say to a guy in that moment. You can take these, make them your own over time, but once you have them, you have them for life. So at least you know what they are. Check it out. I want you to buy this today. I'm just going to say it. I want you to buy it. It's amazing. It's something that will help you. If you don't like it, refund it. It doesn't matter, but at least try it. We'll link it up here and I will see you in next week's video.